Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting this channel as well because it's greatly appreciated. So this is going to be a general love read for Aries. I hope that it resonates with you guys, but unfortunately it will not resonate with everyone. Um, but it's okay. I do offer personal reads if you are interested in one. They are very helpful and insightful. So um, currently I'm having a sale. They are $30. You can get a current energy reading, a finances and career read, a singles love reading if you're single, single. Specific person love reading. This is only if you are dealing with someone and you're trying to figure out like what's going on in the connection. Even if it's like a new person, it's just like you could just be unsure about the person. It's a really insightful reading to get. Um, or it could be like a past person that you dealt with before, that type of thing. Um, but only if you're like with the person. So yeah. You can look in the description box below for my information to book a reading. You can click the link to my website, submit your info, and then I will respond back to you personally. Or you can just simply email me. Everything's listed down below. So we're going to start off with the Romance Angels cards. And then I'm going to use my Love Oracle deck. It's called the Unconventional Love Oracle deck. You guys probably seen these cards here on my channel. But yeah, we're about to get some insight here on Aries Love Life, y'all. So, let's see what comes up. What messages do you have for Aries for October? And I'm doing it for October, but this could have already happened. could be currently going on or could happen for someone, okay? What messages do you have for Aries for October? Mm, so, we have two cards that showed up. Okay, we got honeymoon deception showed up. Okay. Some of you guys could be spending time with someone and maybe there is some type of deception here that's showing up. Something, something ain't adding up. The math ain't adding up with a person. Look, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. But somebody that you could be spending time with, y'all. Mm. And I do feel like too, maybe your friends are kind of telling you like, hey, um trying to give you like support or advice about a person that you could be spending time with. Let's see. What other messages do you have for Aries for October? What other messages do you have for Aries for October? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say this now. <laughs> Somebody is spending time with a person, y'all, but they married, okay? Um, wow. Now, you could have met this person at work. Um, also, too, it has, like, I do feel like there's an issue going on with, like, their career. Um, or even, like, finances. But it feels more so like career, y'all. It, and it's about time. Like, spending time with someone. So, it's like, maybe you guys were, like, in the honeymoon phase, y'all. But then it's like... There was some type of deception that showed up, but it feels like someone's mess, like someone's spending time with a married person or someone who's married or committed, and you could like you maybe you don't know about it. Wow, that's very very interesting. Let's see. Tell me about honeymoon here for Aries. Yeah, y'all, see, take a pic, can't post it. They married, somebody married. So that could definitely be, because I feel like too, this, this could definitely be like a red flag for someone. Um, and I do feel like too, like whoever this person is that you could be dealing with, or like someone that's in your energy, it's like whenever you want to spend time with a the person, they could put work in the way, like whatever they do for their career or work. Something fishy going on with a person and you spend the time with a person. Tell me about deception. Um, also, to whoever this individual is for someone... They could be separated from their wife or their husband, y'all. But really, like, I mean, legally, they're married. So, 
let's see tell me about deception for aries yeah draw communication so it does look like uh, this could be an issue it's either like lack of communication or like draw communication so that's the deception showing up here and it's almost like too yeah whoever y'all could be dealing with yeah. um foe just fell out so this is my deception card so we got deception twice this is so not real and i do feel like maybe you think that it's something real but it's not so we just don't need this here wow and it's saying you deserve better so let's see what's going on here with his finances and career showing up finances and career tell me about finances and career yeah you show me the real you some they've been um bread crummy too but true colors were shown here about a person so it could be in regards to like finances or um their work or their career tell me about wedding you could have met this person at work or like whatever you do for your career you could have met this person like like that Tell me about wedding. Tell me about wedding here for Aries. Yeah, breadcrumbs. You deserve the whole love. Y'all don't, you don't deserve this. This is why the breadcrumbs coming out because someone's married. They're already like giving it into like another situation. And if they are not, y'all, this sounds like a, some type of TV show, but... It seemed like all the reads that I did today for the signs that I did do, it's like a soap opera, but no reply back. The reason why they, it's been dry communication or they have not re been replying back is because the person could be married. Like, it's been two days. Come on now. And you trying to communicate with this person. Um, yeah, and you could be trying to figure out why. Um, they're not replying back or why if there is dry communication. It's almost like they, um, now if this is like a work situation, y'all, it's like maybe they only deal with you when they at work or something, but get more information about this person. So let's pull some cards real quick. Wow. I was not expecting it. Tell me about take a pic can't post it. We about to see what comes up for this. Tell me about take a pic, can't post it for Aries. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm. Something's going on with the communication, and also too, I feel like it could definitely be in regards to like someone's social media. We got the eight of wands that showed up, so I'm not really sure. Maybe you um met this person. It could have been like on. It feels like online dating that type of thing. Let me see something real quick. Clear if I take a pic, can't post it. Yeah, see, you think that this is something real, but it's not. Because I had seen it before, but it looks like... Let me see. Tell me, give me one more here for take a pic, can't post it. Okay, hidden emo. Yeah, okay. This person's coming off. I just I feel like some type of online dating situation. So I mean you could have met this, I mean you could have like interacted with this person like on social media or some type of like dating app. That's what it feels like. But um with this hidden emotions, they're hiding someone's hiding that like they're already like emotionally invested into something else. So it's almost as if like they are wanting something just casual, like a little side piece, that type of thing. Just casual, nothing serious. And it's like you could have definitely met this person. It could have been like a random encounter with this person, that type of thing. But maybe you didn't really know, like maybe you don't know the full of them. Because I feel like somebody met someone like at the job or something dealing with like their career or work. Could also be business too. But it's like they have not really showed you the real them, like their true colors. Um, that type of thing. That's what it looks like. Tell me about deception here for Aries. Well, 
Tell me about deception for Aries, please. Thank you. Six of Swords, yeah. It looks like for some of y'all, you're moving on from this situation where you're needing to. Yeah, start new. We got the page of wands that showed up. So you guys are definitely about to get some good news here in regards to starting new, like having new love too. Um, let's see. Tell me about finances and career for Aries. Wow. We got the Emperor card that showed up. So it is the card for Aries, y'all. But this could also be the other person. Now, it could be an Aries. But y'all know the Emperor is like the, um, the masculine energy showing up. But it feels like someone is like a boss. Like, so you could... I feel like somebody could have been like messing with someone like on the job. Like... Something dealing with that. That's what it looks like. Tell me about you showed me the real you. Tell me about you showed me the real you. Some of you guys now, if this is like a work situation, you are definitely needing to be logical here about this, this situation here. Because I feel like someone's not really seeing it for what it really is. Tell me about, yeah, look, Seven of Swords. It's like it's, someone's dealing with a cheater, basically. So there was some type of deception, but it's like maybe you didn't really find out about it. It's like maybe you don't have like all of the evidence. But something's like you could definitely feel like something's going on. It's almost like the fact that the person's not replying back is dry communication. You like hold on now, something going on. But I feel like they could be blaming. It. They're lying and saying it's like about their um, work. But really, they married. Tell me about a wedding. Tell me about a wedding. Oh yeah. So it looks like here someone's they was like taking a break. It seems like. Um, one person was taking a break, y'all. Are they like separated in a marriage with this four of swords showing up? Give me one more here for um wedding. Give me one more here for wedding for Aries. Yeah, they still holding on. Somebody, it's like a male energy still holding on to like their wife. It could be an earth sign involved here too in a situation like a um the female energy could be an earth sign, could be a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Wow. Tell me about um breadcrumbs. Yeah, five of pentacles. Wow. So yeah, this person could have definitely left you out in the cold here with this five of pentacles showing up here. So it's like that's the breadcrumbs. Tell me about can we talk? Oh yeah, y'all. This is a work situation. Queen of Cups. Someone could be down here with the um a water sign, like a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. But use your intuition here. Follow your gut here about this person. Cause look, the Eight of Pentacles showed up. So it's looking like a work situation. Wow. Okay, let's get into these additional um, oracle cards. I'm using a love oracle deck. It's called Angel Love, like Angels of Love oracle deck. This is what it looks like. But yeah, we're about to get some additional messages. What messages do you have for Aries? For this spread. What messages do you have for Aries for this spread, please? I'm curious to see what this is. So it says, be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. I do feel like um, now, it does feel like someone's like hiding their emotions. With this, um, be willing to express love that's showing up. Um... Let's see. 
what this is. What other messages do you have for Aries for this spread? Mm. Wow, this is my first time seeing this card now. It says action speak loud. Action speak loudly. Express your love through action. So with this right here, I do feel like in a sense, it's almost like maybe this person was speaking as if um, they wanted something serious or it's like they could have been talking a good game, that type of thing, but it's deception. A cat keeps going by my arm door. But yeah, it's like they was talking a good game, but their actions was not, like what they were saying, how they were is expressing themselves, their actions was not aligning up with that. It was not. So it's like now you're needing to, so Aries, you're needing to um, follow your gut here. You listen to your intuition about this person here because it's like something's fishy going on with the communication. Like the communication is horrible. And I feel like that's like a big red flag right there. Yeah, it's like they're talking a good game, but it's like, okay, they're not even, um, their actions aren't um, following through with what they're saying. So that's a red flag here. It says, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize um, at the bottom that showed up. Give me another one for Aries, please. Give me another one. And this person too could be not really making the effort to. Like their, their actions aren't saying that they want to make an effort. Cause like really they just want, it's like something just casual. Give me one here for Aries, please. Okay, thank you. So have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Um, I do feel like for some of y'all, you could definitely be wanting romance. It's saying to have patience here because this is not it for someone, y'all. So it's like be patient here in regards to um, something new showing up here, especially with the page of wands, because it looks like you're moving on from this situation, this deception. Like you thought it was real, but it wasn't. So that's a no. But yeah, I'm going to leave the read here. I hope that it was helpful to you guys. Of course, you can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you did find it insightful. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe as well.